Hello there, everybody. Welcome to an all-star, all-request program of Candid Camera. Yes, we have collected the Candid films, which you have most requested that we repeat again, and we have them for you tonight. So, let's look at your all-time, all-high request number one. Here comes a man who is going to lend us his hat for a little trick with eggs. Dick Crispin is talking to him while I'm out looking for A. Watch. What do you think of a guy like that, chaining his girlfriend? Well, he wanted to make sure that he's holy. Huh? He wanted to make sure that he's got it. Yeah, but he had this <laughs> around her wrist. And it was his girlfriend. What do you make of that? You rolling, Dick? Yes. Yeah? Now, look. Uh, uh, should I interrupt or not? Yeah. Yeah? Listen, let me see that hat for a moment, will you? It, it is an expensive one, isn't it? Dick, listen, I want to show you a trick. That we... uh, about how much is that hat? Twenty-five. Huh? Twenty-five? Twenty-five bucks. Listen, I learned this trick last oh, night. Oh. No, wait, let me just show you something. This guy's a magician. This yeah. is the, one of the most wonderful tricks you've ever seen. Yeah, now, yeah. let me just show it to you. Now watch this. This is a really, this is amazing. Watch. Now watch. You just, all you do is you cover it over with this paper. See? Yeah. Now watch this. This, this is really astounding. Would you hold a hat in your hand like this? This is going to really surprise you. Or ho hold it up in the air like that. Candid. Camera, boo, boo, boo. Candid camera. Boo, boo, boo. Now watch. This, you saw me break the eggs in yeah. it. You saw them drop in your hat? All right, now, when I take this away, watch. Oh. You didn't do it right. I don't think you said the words properly. I know. What are you kidding me? No, sir. I'll show you what you missed. Watch. Candid camera, boo boo do. Camera candid, do do do. Now watch. No, it doesn't work. I, I don't understand it. Well, all right. So it doesn't. But it's a it's the most wonderful trick when it works. I'm telling you, it's one of the best tricks I've ever seen. It didn't work. You got a cigarette, Dick? I think I have one. Dick, listen. Yeah. I gotta go, uh, Dick. Okay. I'll see you in a little while. Huh? Okay, fine. Thanks for stopping in. Okay. He's a funny guy. This is the second time he's been here. Listen. It's a funny guy, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, this comes out. This comes out. Don't worry about your hat. Yeah. No, take my word for it. Yeah. Don't worry about your hat. Yeah, I know. It. I've seen him do it three or four times. Yeah, yeah, I know. It. This will come out without a stain in it. I know. In the cleanest. I tell you what, if it doesn't come out, I'll buy you a new hat. In the cleanest. I'll buy you a $25 hat. How's in that? In the cleanest. I'll stand good for it. Yeah. Would you take uh, my word for it? Oh, give a hat. But listen, I want to, don't put it on. I'm going to buy you a new hat. But I've seen him make it work. Oh, here he is again. But all right. I'm going to buy you a brand new hat like that. Let me have it for a minute, sir. Give it to right. him. He can make that disappear. I'm going to buy you a hat. Uh, don't be. So let me explain something to you. Did you tell him, Dick? <coughs> My friend. Do you mind this? Mind what? The egg? No, I gotta get it clean, that's yeah, all. No, but you're a wonderful fellow. I gotta get it clean. No, that's on us. Well, let me explain. I gotta get it clean. You're a good fellow. But here, let me tell you something. Yeah, go ahead. You've just been on a television show. You're on television right this minute. Yeah? Yeah. See the camera behind there? Can you see it behind the glass? Yeah. And you're a peach of a sport. I don't know what you said when I left, but you are a peach. Shake. 
<laughs> you believe it? Is that right? Sure. But I can make this thing, I, I can make it disappear. Yeah, it disappeared, all right. <laughs> he can even do it in a suit coat pocket. Give me another egg. Oh, Watch shit. this. <laughs> no, no, no. Huh? No, no. And now lightning strikes again. It's the same man. It's more than a year later in an entirely different place. And I recognize him, but I do not believe that he recognizes me. So here we go again. You never came into my store before? Never. No. In here, you mean? In here. Now, wait a second. Now, wait just a second. I'm going to refresh your memory. You have uh, a gray hat, a beautiful gray hat, worth about $25. Do you? Oh, I did have one, yeah. Well, and what happened to it? I don't know. You don't know where it is? Oh, I know what you know. You know me from the, wait a minute, on that television stuff. Why, of course. I saw me. <laughs> what do you mean? I saw you. I watched you on television. Yeah? Sure. And don't you recognize me now? You was in that store at the time. I'm the guy that dropped the eggs in your hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, you didn't recognize yeah, it. Yeah, I remember you now. I yes. remember you. That, you know but I mean, you stood there. I dropped one egg. You didn't say anything. You just looked. I dropped another egg. We were going to do it again. No. And you still didn't say anything about it. Well, I, 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 but I'm telling you, after that, you know, I, I, I got so mad. You know, I, uh, I was burned up. I was going to take the egg and... Ah, right like that, you know? Did you see it on television that time? No, I didn't have no television. Now I got one. But the thing is no more. Yeah, you know, it's finished. When you're on television, you haven't got a set. Now that you're not on, that's right. I tell you, I wish I could do that whole thing over again, just to let you see it. No kidding. You think we could? Oh, that'd be... Oh, that'd be but I'd have to ruin another hat. Yeah, but I ain't got no hat. I'll have to go and get another hat. <laughs> <laughs> Would okay. you get another hat just to be back on television? Yeah. But well, we'd ruin it. It'd have to be a good hat. Well, oh, it's a good one. You mean the one you'd get? Oh, this one I got, it cost me $18. That's just the kind of use. Just the kind. You do $18? You'd $18. ruin a hat just to be on television well, uh, again? No, no. The, but the, you know, the funny part of it was this way. When they put the eggs in, and the guy says they can make a hokey spokes, Jimmy Yokus, or whatever yeah. it is, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I thought it was the same thing like, you know, in Cooney Island, you know, when they, yeah. when they get <laughs> That's a knife. That's what you said that they, time. And they put the knife right yeah. through, you know, in a hole, and it's nothing. I there. got news for you. You're on television right now, again. And this time you can see it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Without any hat this time. <laughs> More all requests eavesdropping in one minute, but now a special announcement. How many of you remember the candid scene in which we tried to actually do some shoplifting in front of a total stranger? Dick Crispin was going to lift some cigarette lighters from a counter while I was waiting on a gentleman who turned out to be a delightful Englishman. Let's watch. Sir, you want it wrapped as a gift, sir? No, no, well, no just in the box. I don't hear it In the much. box. Just in the box. They're very nice. Yeah. Uh, would you uh, wrap this, please, sir? They are nice. Yes, they burn your fingers. Mm -hmm. See, we've got some more. Check them. We've got them two hands. We've got them burn the time. We've got uh, some more colors, if you like to see them. Yes, they're all very nice. Very nice. They have, uh, these really work. Yes, I know. Well, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you playing it? Uh. Look, just put it straight in his pocket. What is that, sir? You, you put some in your pocket. I didn't. Well, I don't hear very well, well sir. It's a pity you didn't hear very well. Can you just come over here with yeah. me, please? Look, stop. I'm not going anyplace. I'll stand here. Just put three lines in your pocket. Put it in there. 
I don't hear you too well, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Come over here. I'm the manager, sir. Explain to me what happened. He Come around here. I can see I can put hear. Put three so. of those in his pocket and walked out of the shop while you were talking. Come around here, sir. Will you, sir? Can't somebody talk? This man he's just got away with three lighters. He just put three lighters in his pocket. Sir, that's a very, very strong accusation. Did he really? Did you see it? I saw him put them in. He's walked out of the shop. What's this? This chap just... Well, I don't mind if you don't mind. No, no, I do what? mind. Was he with you, sir? No. He came in while I was buying the lighter. This gentleman was with me. He's outside the shop. Well, they were waiting for Look. He wasn't... He, he's no friend of yours. No, I've never either. seen him before. You have nothing to do no, with him. No, nothing at all. Never seen him. What a bug. Are you positive, sir? Because oh, absolutely positive that he took these things. He, he looked at them. Oh, here he comes. Well, he's got rid of them now. Hello. I'd like to see, uh... Did you... Are you the same fellow that was in here before? Yes, I am. Well, that's all right. Thank you. 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 No. What, you, you mean you weren't here before? Not I. Well, where'd you get these three lighters? I've always had these. Well, you get out of here, would you please? Can't you prove it? Can't you prove it in any way? I wouldn't have anything to do. He's the same, huh? he's the same he's person. He's he looks like a different fellow to me. That's no, why I'm not same sure. Same, same, same sure. man, same lighters. Just taking them out of there. He looked like a different... Well, look, I am an Englishman. I am buying a lighter. I, yes, I, I don't. I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying to be difficult. I don't want to be, get into any peace case with anybody. He was the same man, I am sure. He just turned his hat down. I but he spoke with a British accent. No. The second time? No. 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 Same man. I should have called the police and if I'd have been... No, there. no. Well, listen, for all your humiliation here, you take this one for free. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. I'd like to have one of the... Where, which one? He was packing it up. The red it? one, yes. The red one. There'll be no charge for No, it. no, certainly Oh, you've not. been through an awful lot here. I haven't what? been through anything. I'm sorry, you've been through the three nighters. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's I... a pity. If you hadn't been deaf, you'd have seen him. I thought he was being funny. He was... Sir? When I saw him put the first one in, I thought he was being funny. He just stood there. Yeah. Well... That, that's, that's the American's idea of a joke, you see. Well, it's not funny. Well, here's the point. He brought the three lighters back no, and No, but the thing I them. wanted to be was, you see, that's our kind of humor. You two and myself and that man have all been on television. And it's all a gag. It's a joke. He's an actor. Is he? Yes, sir. This is a microphone here. And that's a camera. Right behind that glass. And we do an American television show. You... <laughs> <laughs> of just people being themselves this way, you I see. I see. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. Is that a fact? I'm not using any bad language. <laughs> uh, no bad language. <laughs> Where are the police? <laughs> I'd like to see some writers, please. <laughs> Get in the shop. <laughs> I can hardly look at a flower these days without remembering the time Dick Crispin surprised me, as well as some very innocent bystanders, by eating them in a flower shop. Here's the way it happened. Something in the yellow. So we only have a white. A few, few dogs of white. All right, let me have a white. All right. Fresh one. Must be fresh. I didn't like yesterday's. Very much. What well, is the only stuff we have now? Oh, this is nice. This should be a good one. This is this morning's. Yeah. Thank you. Fill me at the hotel for it as usual, will you? You want to take the rest no, of the No, save those for me. I'd like to come in perhaps tonight. I might have one about something. Okay. Days. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, now I'm going to ask a question. Why? Why did he put his mouth in his shoe and eat it? Why? flower. He took one off and put it in his mouth and ate it. You saw him do that? Yes, sir. He does that every day. Why? Why? What? Did he help him? Did he, did he hear something like that? I, I don't. Your guess is as good as mine. He does it all the time. Don't you ever eat them? You never eat flowers at all? Not flowers. Huh? No, not flowers. Why not? It, it must agree with him. 
I don't know if it agrees with him, but he does it. I know a lot of people who do it. You don't ever? You mean you? Do you? Sure. <laughs> That's a list. Honest, I really mean it. Taste one. Let me smell. I want to smell it. Yeah. Is that a nice huh? Smell? I wouldn't. Never chew on it. It's a nice smell, Maxine. I think he has a box. Yeah, he had a little one up the house. Yeah. Smells like this. Oh, here he comes. Yeah. Something different. Gonna put in there, yeah. Two. I have to get out of that because I want to early tonight. These aren't the same, are they? Yeah, it's the same stock. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Good. That's building for the same bunch, not for one. All right. What do you think of that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this thing. He came back and got it. I'm <laughs> coming back too late. He gets hungry once in a while, so he eats them. Want to taste one? No. No thanks. Taste it. I wouldn't taste it if all the money in the world. I don't like flowers to taste. What? I don't like to eat flowers. You see, this guy is a television performer. Yes, I, I know he was a theatrical man. How do you know that? His appearance gave it to him. Yeah, he, he's a television performer, and that's his act. Every day, yeah. he eats flowers, you see. Oh. That's yeah. the thing, see? And he was smiling, and I knew there was something. You know, he eats flowers all the time, and then between him and... Oh, here he comes again. Dick. Mr. Chris, I was just explaining to this lady what work you do about eating flowers on television, you know? <laughs> you know what I haven't told... What were you going to say? Go ahead. You finish up. No, what were you going to say? I took him for a theatrical man. A what? A theatrical man. Yeah, I think he, he is a little bit, too. Well, I, I didn't know until he just explained it to me. You know what he does now, huh? Now I do. Television. Uh -huh. See, you're on television, too. Yes, sir. I am. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And now, the candid commercial you most requested to see again. I had one single candid camera scene from the thousands we've photographed in the last five years. I'd have to say that the one that you seem to like best was the talking mailbox. And although it may not need explaining, you'll remember that we put a microphone and a loudspeaker on a corner mailbox to photograph and record the following scene. Miss, yes. did you put enough postage on that letter? Yes. You did. Uh, where's it going to? Uh, right over here on the corner. Why didn't you take it over? Well, isn't it proper to mail it? Oh, did you put a stamp on it? Yes. Uh, uh, did you say the letter properly? Yes. Did you? Yes. Oh, that's good. I'll peek in again to be sure it went all the way down. Did it, can you see it? No. Huh? No. Miss? Madam? Yes? Madam? Yes? Could you come over and help me, please? Over here by the mailbox. Me. The girl in the gray coat. Would you help me? I can't hear you. You'll have to open the top of the mailbox. Open the top of the mailbox so I can see you, now. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Are those your children? Why is that I go to sleep? Well, the mailman will be around with a blanket for me. <laughs> you see? <laughs> what? Are you worried about me? <laughs> huh? How are we going to put the letters? Well, I'm in here so I can catch them. See, when you, you put the letter in here and I catch the letter and I take care of it until the mailman comes. What is your name? Mailbox. What? Mailbox. Oh. Oh, no. They want to talk to me, Mother. What? Uh, the other little girl wanted to know how my mother was. My mother's the big mailbox up on Fifth Avenue. 
You ever see my mother, the great big mailbox? No. And my father's the post office. Would you wave to me? I can see you through the little holes at the top. That's right. There you are. Now I can see. Uh, be careful. <laughs> Miss, don't drop that letter in until I know where it's going. Where are you sending it to? Are you kidding? No, ma'am. This is the new service of the post office. Parkersburg, West Virginia. Oh, this is just for New York, this mailbox. Do you have any to go to Columbus, Ohio? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> kidding. No, miss. I'll tell you how to mail it if you'll come closer. Uh, how heavy is the letter? I can't say it's Would you just stick half of it through the top of the box so that I can see it? Oh, no. Come here, miss. Don't put that letter in. It's only for New York. All right, put half the letter in. I'll share it with you. Okay, put half of it. Oh, you hit me on top of the head. Can I really? Huh? Can't you see me peek in? There's no mirror in here. Billy, don't drop it. Look at the stand first. And the return address, madam? What are you talking about? Okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> it's quite chilly. <laughs> you watch her? I can't hear you. Yeah, the lady dropped the letter in. She had the stamp on there. Yes. Do you know where it was going? No, I didn't look at the address. Oh, have That's you got a cigarette, sir? Yes, I have. Could you drop it in the mailbox for me? No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, don't light it. Just drop it and I have matches. <laughs> yeah, how would you get it? I, I'm down in the bottom here. Where? In the bottom of the mailbox? No, you just drop it. I'll get it. No, no. Huh? No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, because I'm not allowed to leave my post, you see. I want to go out to get some cigarettes. I thought maybe you had one. Oh, I can bring it over to your house if you tell me where you live. Madam, before you drop the letters in the mailbox, please check three things. First of all, is the stamp on securely? Please look at your letters. Yeah, they're on. And do you have the return address? Yes, it's on. And are they all going to local cities? They're going to towns in the United States. Oh, I see. Uh, I, I, could you hold it open? I can't hear you when you close it. Oh, yeah? Yes. Two, and both going to the same place? Uh, see, I can't even remember where they're going to. One's going to Wisconsin, and the other one, they're both going to Wisconsin, Grand right? uh, Wisconsin. Are you sure of that now? Because Positive. <laughs> they, Positive. May, they may be in the wrong place if you're not sure. No, I know they're right. And you put your return address on yeah. both. Listen, what kind of a, this is a joke. No, ma'am, no, it is not. No, we lost a few letters during the past week, and we want to be absolutely sure that we got them to the right place. I have never lost a letter in my life. No, you didn't. We did. Oh, you did? Yes. Uh-huh. I can't see your mouth, madam. Could you open the box so that I can see your... I've got the box wide open. Excuse me, sir. Sir, here at the mailbox. Could you open the top so that you can hear me? Just open the lid of the mailbox. Have you seen the mailman around? No, why? Oh, because he was supposed to unload me about an hour ago, and I haven't seen him. Who are you? I beg your pardon? Who are you? The post this is the mailbox, sir, the post office clerk. Yeah. And I'm looking for the mailman. I thought maybe you had seen him. Well, why don't you look for him? I've been looking for him, but he hasn't been around, and I'm just... Where are you, in the mailbox? And, uh, this, uh, yes, uh, we're connected with the mailbox. But you see, I'm stationary, and you're moving around. I thought you might have seen him. No. I see. I noticed you walking along the street eating the apple. <laughs> Can you see me? I beg your pardon? Can you see me? Well, just slightly through the crack of the opening, and then when you open the lid, I can hear you very well, sir. Yeah. Why, uh, uh, are you so amazed? Yeah, it's a uh, funny sort of an amazement. Why? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to be closer to our people, that's all. I see. No, I didn't see the mailman. Oh, you seem I kind of... a cop coming down here. Do you want to talk to him? Oh, no. You seem kind of angry when I stopped you. Yeah, I was, to tell the truth. Why? <laughs> well, that's the way it hit me. Oh, I see. You, you want to hear something? There's a guy talking here. Here's another guy I don't believe there's someone in the box. Speak up. God damn, there was a voice coming out of there. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Hello. 
Oh, we wish we could show you so many others. My favorites as well as yours. But that's all the time we have for Candid Camera today. So, remember one important thing. Someday, sometime, someplace when you least expect it, we're going to make you a star of the Candid Camera. <laughs>